you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys there are going to be some big changes in my homeschool I cannot wait to share them with you guys so go ahead and stay tuned for today's video so if any of you guys are new here to my channel again my name is Brittany I am a homeschooling mom to three girls I have a 10 three and a two year old right now and I'm in my second year of homeschooling so you guys I'm going to talk about some big changes that I'm going to be making in my homeschool this year and I really hope that these changes that I'm making can be helpful to you guys just listening and watching and all those things so um, the top question that I always get when it comes to homeschooling from you guys is always how do I schedule um, my homeschool how do I fit it all in especially having two very young top toddlers who are very busy. Um, I try not to hide it on my channel, especially in my day in the lives while I show um, our daily flow, how hectic it can be with my two toddlers. You guys, I love my babies to death, but <laughs> they are very, very busy. And I pull out all of the ropes during our homeschool days. I mean, I pull out the Play-Doh and I pull out all of our uh, blocks and magnet towels. You guys, I'm not even ashamed to show it, especially here on my channel. I do utilize my TV during homeschool time to get things done. So um, with that all being said, I just wanted to talk about the changes that we are going to be making within our homeschool schedule. So I have our homeschool schedule, our updated homeschool schedule right here that we are going to be using. And I'm just going to go over some big changes we are going to be making with our schedule. So first things first, you guys, we are going to start off our days by doing math. <laughs> and I know you're like, oh my gosh, Britt, are you really going to do this? But yes, I am going to start off my days by doing math. In the month of December, we really had a lighter load. We were only doing math and a little bit of language arts review. And you guys waking up in the morning, getting that math done first thing was really, really uh, rejuvenating, at least for me. And I know my daughter, she was able to really take a deep breath when we were done with math first thing in the morning um, she told me she just was so happy that that was over with so um, my husband actually doesn't start work you guys until nine o'clock he works from home still I'm so fortunate so you guys since my girls they wake up between 7 30 and 8 I really try my best to utilize that hour that I have with my husband to get some things done, get some things started, get breakfast ready. And during that time now, I'm going to start utilizing it by getting my oldest daughter Brielle's math out the way and done. So with that being said, we are going to start off our homeschool days in the morning doing math. My daughter's gonna go downstairs. She's gonna grab a granola bar. I'm gonna make my coffee. We're gonna utilize that time while my husband can watch my two younger ones. And we're gonna get our hardest subject out the day over with. So when I get my daughter set up with math and she's working on her independent practice, then we will go ahead and go into our breakfast and Bible time. If you guys ever watch my day in the life, I always show me having my daughters eating breakfast while I do Bible, especially with my younger ones. I feel like I'm able to get them to listen a lot better when, they, when they're when uh, they feeding themselves and uh, their mouths are full, if I should say so. So um, that's just a really good time for me to do Bible with them is during breakfast. Um, typically after Bible is when I will go scarf something down before the next subject with my daughter. So we are going to go straight into Bible. Now you guys, the biggest change that we are going to be doing in our homeschool is that I am officially adding in my preschoolers in our homeschooling day. If you guys uh, are I wonder if you guys or if you guys have not already seen um, the video that I made on my channel about the preschool curriculum picks that I have chose, especially for my oldest, for my middle daughter, who is Leia. She's three. She will be four in March. So she's primarily going to be doing these, uh, I guess, this specified preschool time. However, my youngest, Alana, who is two, she is very enthusiastic and she loves uh, just tagging along uh, in our preschool. So I'm so excited to officially add them in the schedule before when I was doing preschool with them you guys it was very sporadic I was just doing it whenever uh, I had the extra time but now I'm going to make it to be a part of my day I really want them to be included and I noticed that when I fill up their little cups before I head back to my oldest daughter Brielle I feel like they're more cooperative with me throughout the day because they know that they got that special time with me so uh, yeah if you guys again want to see those curriculum picks that I picked out for them I will have the video um, linked in my 
iCard and in my description box below so you guys can check that out as well. Another thing after, so pretty much while we're, I'm doing preschool with my two youngest toddlers, my daughter who is in fourth grade, she will be doing her independent work. So Brielle will be doing her spelling, vocabulary. Um, she will be finishing up math if she got any problems wrong. So anything she can do independent, that's what she will do during that time while I'm doing preschool. The only days we will not do preschool is on Wednesdays because my uh, middle daughter Leia does have speech therapy um, during that time. So I will reserve that time instead of doing preschool it will be uh, for me to do speech therapy virtually with her and then usually during that time again Bri is doing something independent and we are distracting Alana as best as we can during a uh, speech therapy time so after that we will go into our language arts and after language arts is all done, you guys, we will go into lunch where we will listen to our read aloud. We have been listening to our read alouds through uh, Audible and it's just been amazing. It's been alleviating me of my voice reading all day long because I read with my toddlers and it just has really been helping us out. So while we're sitting at the table eating lunch, we will do our read aloud. I will put my two toddlers down for a nap and then me and my daughter, we will come upstairs and we will either do science or history and then our day is done. You guys, with this new schedule we have already started we have been finishing our home to school days around one o'clock which has been amazing uh, before this schedule I was putting all of my daughter's core work in the afternoon and we wasn't getting done with our school days you guys until like 2 30 sometimes three o'clock and I don't want that for us I really want her to be able to utilize that free time and that free space to be able to do things that she loves and she enjoys so um, I'm really happy that we are done with our homeschool day at one o'clock with her official studies. Now after one o'clock while my two younger ones are still sleeping, you guys, I'm so lucky they still sleep for about two hours. Um, my daughter, she will do some free play. Uh, she likes to do her creative writing during that time as well. Something else that my oldest daughter, she does while my two younger ones are taking a nap, she does do her piano practice. And after she gets all those things done, she has the opportunity to do like iPad time, um, and then something else that she does is we will either go outside like once all the kids are all up We'll go outside and then we will go into our evening routine So this is our new homeschool schedule and I'm so happy that um, I just took that leap of faith to just uh, Go back to our original schedule that we did in our first year of homeschooling and you guys so far It's been working out beautifully in our home. So you guys the second biggest change that I'm making in my homeschool is I actually have a homeschool planner now. You guys, School Nest actually reached out to me and they sent me this beautiful planner. And I'm so happy that they sent me this planner to be able to now officially plan out my homeschooling days and my homeschooling quarters. You guys, before I had this planner, I'm not gonna lie, I was just only planning our homeschool like week by week. I really wasn't taking in, a, in account our full quarter of our homeschool days. And I'm really happy to be able to have this this planner now you guys uh, just because it's allowing me to be able to mark out and carve out that time to really be able to figure out what exactly we are going to be doing for our full quarter now you guys I do have mostly open and go curriculum if you guys know what I'm using for our homeschool if not I will link a video down below so you can watch like my mid-year curriculum review because I feel like that's like my most updated uh, curriculum choices that I am using right now um, but as you guys see in those videos most of my curriculum is open and go I really don't have to think about it however those like special activities no special little things you want to add in and sprinkle in to uh, bring in that homeschool magic I really feel like uh, I have been lacking because I have been failing to like look ahead and really plan beyond just the week and I really feel like this planner is really going to help me you guys my favorite part about this planner is two things the first thing that I love, and I'm gonna give you guys like a flip through of the planner as well, is I love this curriculum progress that they have. I mean, it really gives you an idea of where you are in your curriculum, if you're at the halfway mark or if you're not. Um, I really feel like this is really gonna help me stay on track and um, as far as like our goals and where we wanna be at at the end of the school year. I love how like the weeks are set up um, in this. I love how not only does it have like 
for your weekly goals and notes. It also has a portion where you can do like a bullet journal for your reflections. I feel like so much, I'm so much caught up into like, did we get our lesson done? Did we get this done? Versus what did we do uh, that homeschooling week? What are the things that uh, we really can reflect back on and be happy that we accomplish uh, just beyond a lesson completed in a page of a curriculum but like what's something or a, a skill that I feel like my daughter mastered that week what's something that I want to look back and cherish that we did that week and I really love the weekly reflection page that they have in here another thing that I love about this um, homeschooling planner by school nest is that it's affordable this planner is only $20 I'm gonna link it down below you guys but I'm so happy to begin the process of actually like planning out our days and I like that I have a separate planner outside from my regular planner that I use for my uh, daily life my daily home life I love now that everything is gonna be separate I have something for homeschool and then I have something for me for you know our home life and all the other things so yes again thank you school nest for reaching out to me and for sending me this beautiful planner I cannot wait to put it into some really good use so you guys, the last big change that I'm making in my homeschool <laughs> is that this year is going to be a no curriculum by year for me. Now, um, I don't want to put any pressure on any of you guys uh, because of the decision that I have made, but I'm just sharing this with you guys to hold myself accountable for this particular thing is that if you guys are not new here to my channel, I have a curriculum problem <laughs> and I know I have a curriculum problem and I definitely want to be more consistent this homeschooling year and I really want to uh, not focus so much on the curriculum aspect this year, but focus on other things in our homeschool and in our homeschool life. So so I put myself to the challenge you guys and I went ahead and I purchased all of my daughter's fifth grade curriculum and I also have all of my middle daughter's pre-k curriculum already selected i already have it on the shelf if you can see some of it back there you kind of see some sneak peeks of uh all of the curriculum that i have already purchased and i did that for one specific reason you guys i don't want to be worrying so much about curriculum and researching what's going to work what's not going to work i really want to focus in on other things and other aspects my daughter's specific interests this homeschooling year and I really feel like a weight has been lifted off of me knowing that I already made all of those choices. I know the things that are working for my daughter and I'm just going to stick with them. And I'm so uh, happy to finally be at this point where I feel like I finally found the, my right pair of shoes, I should say, when it comes to curriculum. I found our fit and I'm just gonna stick with it. And I really feel like by me challenging myself to a no curriculum by year, it's really going to allow me to think outside of the box within our homeschool and do things outside of a formal curriculum and really allow me to be creative. So I'm gonna have you guys hold me to it to this year. Um, my only exception to the no by curriculum rule is if any of my daughters uh, either go through the curriculum too fast or we need to level up, that is the only time where I am able to purchase new curriculum. So I'm really hoping I can stick to this goal of mine that I have for this upcoming year. And uh, yeah. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really hope you enjoy hearing the big changes that we are making in our homeschool. I really hope uh, hearing my schedule and the things that I'm going to be implementing this homeschool year will help you guys out. If you want to see our schedule to the test, don't worry. I am going to be filming a day in a life coming up soon, probably within the next couple of weeks. So you can really see how we are going to be implementing in our new schedule so you guys as always thank you so much for watching my channel thank you again you guys for helping me reach 5k subscribers if I haven't mentioned that already I cannot believe I have 5,000 of you guys watching me now thank you again for helping me reach that goal as always you guys please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing everyone in my next one bye